Hey everybody, uh, John Mark here with a lesson on harmonics. So uh, I thought I'd do uh, a lesson that just covers the the kind of the unifying uh, theory behind uh, playing harmonics because uh, there's lots of different ways to uh, physically produce them, like what to do with your hands. Uh, and I did a few of them there as far as you know, slapping the string um, or uh, tapping, pulling off to a harmonic. Um, pinch harmonics. So um, there's lots of different ways to do them, but uh, what's important that uh, I think you realize is that um, it's all the same principle. Physically, the exact same thing is happening every time. Um, so I think the more in touch with you you are with what's going on with the string uh, when you produce a harmonic, the better you can be at playing them because uh, you understand what you're doing. Uh, and you won't get caught up in the details of the slight differences between the different ways of playing them. So uh, Essentially, it all boils down to introducing a node and then giving the string energy to vibrate. That's what it is every single time. And when I say a node, um, when you talk about uh, some medium that's vibrating, a node, and, and keep in mind, a guitar string is a standing wave, right? So you have a medium that's waving in place, and um, so you can introduce different nodes in the string. And what that means is you hold that part of the string still, so like when I just play a natural harmonic, which most people can do, on the fifth fret here, all I did was hold the string still at the fifth fret and then give the string energy by picking. Uh, and then you hear the harmonic instead of the fundamental pitch of the open string. And it, it's because the string vibrates in a different way. And uh, so I've prepared a visual aid to show you this way that the string vibrates because I think it, it should be informative uh, as you're trying to learn how to play harmonics and you know you'll you realize that you can't do them just anywhere on the string they, they don't always come through um, so uh, I think the visual aid should demonstrate it pretty well so uh, there are some equations in it but uh, if, if you don't like math uh, the, all, all the equations are shown visually as well so um, you, you don't have to follow the equations to understand what's going on just look at the visual uh, pictures and, and you'll be fine uh, but if uh, if you do like equations, great, me too, enjoy them. Um, so uh, check out the demonstration following and uh, post questions if you have any. All right, thanks. All righty, so I uh, decided to make a, a little math model, mathematical model of a vibrating guitar string uh, in order to uh, talk about what's going on when you play harmonics uh, because I think this is a lot easier to look at. Um, so basically the function is an amplitude function uh, which is an amplitude of the number of nodes as well as the time and there's, uh, multiplied by a shape function which is also described by the number of nodes as well as the length of the string. So you have these two functions multiplied together. And the number of nodes we can change as a parameter here and uh, the time we can let that evolve here. So essentially what we have now is we have a guitar string, an open, let's say it's an open A string, and uh, we've grabbed the string and we've pulled it back and we're ready to release it. So we're about to pluck the string at time t equals zero. So now a little bit about waves. Uh, when you have a medium that's waving, uh, the points in a medium uh, that aren't waving are called nodes. So we have a node here and here. So to, for the guitar string, this would be like the nut and the bridge. So right now there are two nodes. So the way we're just uh, defining n here, think of it as the number of nodes present besides the one at the nut, right? So right now we only have one node other than the one at the nut. All right, so let's get time started. So let's say we release the string, we plucked it, and it starts vibrating. So here we have our vibrating guitar string. So um, right now this is just an open A string, we'll say, and it's vibrating. But uh, we want to talk about harmonics. So now let's say um, Let's say we put our finger down, we just touch the string at the 12th fret, right? So if you just touch the string at the 12th fret here, that means we introduce a node at the center of the string. And let's say we let time evolve now. So now we've plucked the string uh, after placing our finger down on uh, the 12th fret, right? We didn't push it down, but we just touched the string at the 12th fret and we plucked the string. So you see the way it's vibrating now, it's kind of like the string was cut into two pieces each half the size, half the length of the initial string, and vibrating at twice the frequency. So this is what happens when you play the harmonic at the 12th fret. And you know that, um, uh, so we double the frequency. So what that means in musical terms is going up an octave. 
So if we play the open A string, and then I touch the string at the 12th fret, and pluck it, it goes up an octave. This is what happens when we play that octave on the um, 12th fret, where, where we get the string to divide or to vibrate into in two halves. So the frequency doubles because uh, when you uh, decrease the length by half of, of a string under the same tension, that doubles the frequency. So uh, now let's take this another step. Let's say uh, instead we divide it into thirds. So now we've got the string vibrating in this way, in this manner. So now we've got the string uh, vibrating uh, in thirds. So instead of uh, two halves vibrating twice as fast, we have these, these thirds. And um, so this is equivalent to if we're on our A string, there's our A, open A. If we fret it at the seventh fret, right? So, and that note is a fifth, well, it's an octave plus a fifth up from A, right? So here's an A, and here's the normal, here's just a regular fifth up, right? And that second note, you notice, is the same note as... So that is an E. Right? Which is a fifth up from A. So if we divide the string into three equal, equal lengths that are uh, vibrating, um, you get an octave plus a fifth higher. Uh, as well, we can go to the four. So now we've got the string vibrating in quarters. So you see, it it can't be like an irrational number, right? It has to be. You have to have an even division of the string, right? Because we have to maintain that there are nodes at both the nut and the bridge at all times, right? Or else our string broke. So, um, so this is what's going on when you play harmonics. Um, you know, no matter if you're playing uh, a natural harmonic where you're just doing this on an open string, or maybe you're playing a, a, a pick or a pinch harmonic where you fret a note and then you still uh, really, if you're playing a harmonic, this is what you're doing. You're subdividing whatever length of strings available to, to resonate, and you're, you're having it resonate at um, one of these overtones, right? So these are, there, you know, there's a limited number of these things that the string has to vibrate at an even, um, evenly divided uh, fraction like this. So um, down here, now just to, to test our model, I made this, this function. So uh, the function, I'm just calling it a string of time and the number of nodes. So uh, if the, and again, we're defining the number of nodes the same. It's the number of nodes present other than the one at the nut, right? So we have 440, which uh, 440 is the, the frequency for uh, concert A, right? And the pi over 2 is just the uh, factor to get us in the right units. Text message! Okay, got a text message. Um, by the way, that ringtone is available for sale. <laughs> I'll post the link in um, the comments section. But um, let's see here. So we got the 440 there and the number of nodes, the pi over 2 factor to get us in the right units, and time. So this is what the function looks like, and I, I have it set to play for one second. So if I hit play here, you may not be able to hear it. Yeah. So it depends what kind of speakers you're using. Um, if uh, you've got decent speakers that, that, that can pick up the low end, you'll hear that. But uh, like on my just laptop speakers, I actually can't pick up that pitch. Um, so what that is, is the A. That's, that's our open A string. So you notice this function plays the same note as an open A string on guitar. Alright, so now let's introduce uh, a note on this thing. So we'll play a harmonic. So let's say... So remember, when we set N equal to 2, that's this, right? So we've touched the 12th fret now. Now if we play this one... Alright, so we went from... So you notice it, it works. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, we have, we add an extra node, we go up an octave. Now let's go another one. So if we have three nodes, okay, so that's the equivalent of, let's bring our picture back here. If we got three, it looks like this. So we've fretted a harmonic that'll divide the string into thirds. And that is located on the seventh fret. So here that's the same note. 
playing um, the, uh, there it is, uh, the seventh fret harmonic. So that's making the string vibrate into three equal pieces. Um, let's go with four now. Let's see, so four is going to look like, let me, uh, there you go, now you can see it a little better. Um, so, so now we've, uh, we've added another node, and now we have the, the string divided into four equal pieces. So if we do that, now it's going to sound like this. Okay, so that's located on the fifth fret. And you notice it's the same note again. There it is. And that note is, um, well, let's think about it here. So that note, we got a fourth there. So if, if we divide it into two pieces, we went an octave up. But if you have four pieces, that's essentially dividing it into two twice, right? So it should be going up an octave twice. And sure enough, so hopefully you can hear that that went up an octave. So when we divide it into four pieces, we get an octave. Let's see if we can take it one more step. So if we have the string divided into five equal pieces, let's see, where does that put us? That will put us, Ooh, hopefully that wasn't too loud. Uh, okay, so that is on the fourth fret. Hopefully you can hear that. That was a pretty good one. So uh, if we divide it into five equal pieces, we get that note right there, which is... That's a third up. So that's, that's actually... Uh, that's a C sharp. So that's what happens with that. Oh, there it is again. Um, so um, yeah, that's uh, that's what happens with harmonics. So hopefully uh, you you have a very um, physical description of what you're doing when you're playing harmonics. Take some of the mystery out. Um, and uh, also notice that you know with a guitar string, it's a physical system, so there's always limitations. Uh, you know, for for this mathematical model here, you know, I can I could just uh, keep adding more nodes if I wanted and and it's it's gonna keep working but you know the you, you notice how like the, the that last harmonic I did it was really hard to get that one to come out um, so uh, there are limitations to this um, uh, just because it's a physical system and things dissipate um, but nonetheless um, this is what it's all based on so whether you're playing a natural harmonic or a, pit, a pinch harmonic or whatever type of harmonic you're playing it's a set, essentially all you're doing is you're taking whatever length of string is available to resonate, uh, to ring, and you're introducing a node to that string at some point that's going to make it uh, vibrate at a different uh, pitch. So it'll be a harmonic of the fundamental frequency. All right, so hopefully this uh, explains what's going on with harmonics. All right, thanks a lot.